Hi guys, this video is uh, to show you really quick how to take apart an iPhone 6 using our tool from cyberdagalc.com. It's called the IP opener, like phone opener. Okay, so it basically is a dual side, double side suction cup. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn off the phone first. This is the iPhone 6. I'm going to be doing a teardown review uh, momentarily after the disassembly of this screen. There we go. So this is how you put on the phone before you do that. And this is how you take it out. You peer the suction cup. Before you do that, you need to take these two screws out in order to release the screen and these are still the same pentalobe screw that Apple been using since iPhone 4 the surface I'm using is a very strong magnet it's called super mag also you can get the phone subdogalc.com So put these two screws on the side and now this is the part where this device become very handy. You just go in the center of it and now you can simply just hold it. Use your left hand or right hand whichever you use. The dominant hand should and should be on the side. Use one of your hand holding it on the top because this is where the ribbon cable is at. And you don't want to damage that. And then you can pry it open like such. And that's it. One, two, three. three well, it takes like a, less than a second for you to open this. Okay. And just pure open suction cup as such. And there you have it. You can open your iPhone simply by doing that very easily. And once you this is opened by the iPhone opener, you wanna slide the screen a little bit forward so you can get an access to it. A little bit. You see, you see over here. There's uh, three retention clips. So you want to slide forward, like downward, like this way, and then you can flip over. Once it's loose, you want to flip over this way, and then you can access the screws here. Take out this entire uh, EMT shield using a Phillips screwdriver. Before you do that, it's always a good idea. I know I already turned off my phone to take the battery out. Because you never know what kind of charge can be holding it. This is where the battery connector is located. You need a very high quality screwdriver. Another good thing about this magnet mat is that you can charge your screwdriver as you go. Well, in this case, I'm holding it too close to the phone, so it's actually. You know, so I'm just get a stronger magnet for this job. There we go. You can also buy these little magnets from or wherever you get it, but you can get it from our website, sapidagalc.com. You can put on your screwdriver. And that will suck up the screw. I still think the screw might not be magnetic. Uh, in that case, use a tweezer. Some of the screw that Apple use are not magnetic. This one is, it just got stuck. Use a tweezer and take it up. There we go. 
Again, you have this ribbon cable for the touch screen, home button, and digitizer here, and that's why you don't want to damage, and hence that's why it's very important for you to get these tools. Uh, the suction cup IF opener. It's just typing IP opener. Alright. So like I say, you want to um, take off the home button first. Oh, sorry, not home button. Uh, the battery first. I see a lot of YouTube video. A lot of people use their um, the pry tools for this job. I strongly disagree and encourage you to use your fingernail instead because you don't get tactile sensation using a pry tool. It's very dangerous uh, when you opening up FPC connectors using a pry tool. So now that once the battery connector is con disconnected, I can go on and take all the screws off on this metal shield. And it already become cumbersome because there's so many screws already and plus these little parts. What you can do is uh, get a pro mat. It's called it's pro mat stand for professional mat. It's basically a right erasable magnetic mat that you can only get from cyberdogalc.com at the moment. Alright, so you just hold this screen with a block or something, in this case using iPhone box. And right now I'm gonna draw. So I don't have a screw chop mat ready for iPhone 6 and hence I'm doing this uh, disassembling video. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw with a erase, dry eraser marker, which comes with the Pro Mat when you buy it. Um, I can draw the screw location. So these two are the pentalo screws, and I just need a brief estimate of what all the logic board looks like. You just do a very cool one and then you get a battery and get a bunch of other stuff. If you made a mistake in your drawing, you can always erase it out. There's no annoying lines in the center of the uh, field, so you can draw however you like it. Alright, so you can place the parts onto the mat. This is standard steel, so it's not magnetic, hence it's not going to stick to it. The rest of the well, and you can put the corresponding screws onto the mats. It's a very strong magnet, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah? Alright. See? It doesn't go anywhere. You can wiggle it, you can shake it all you want. This is like really, really oh, high quality magnet. Okay, so keep this open. Don't let it fall. It will rip the ribbon cable if you're not careful. Alright, so the next thing is I'm going to take these screws out. I already took one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw... Let's see this here. I'm going to draw the location of the shield. And I'm going to draw the location of the screws I can see, and where I'm taking them off from. This way this, I'll be able to put them back in the same location, uh, since every screw is different in length. You don't want to mix them up. You can break your larger board if you're not careful. Alright. So, like, doing the iPhone repair is very simple. You just need a lot of patience, good hand and eye coordination, good eyesight and a little basic understanding of uh, electronics and circuitry. Stuff you learn from school, like physics. There we go. Now all the screws are off. I can then, um, there's one more screw here I missed, you see over here. It was not very obvious from looking from afar while I was making the camera. But once you zoom in and... Anyway, so, so if you're taking something apart, it's 
jammed or whatever, it just means there's another screw and hence look for it. And since that's the additional screw that's not on my drawing, I can simply pick up my marker pen again, draw the location where the, I found that screw and put the screw in the center of it. Alright, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six screws. And you can always put the part either directly onto the mat or on the side where the screw is located and then hence you get a good picture of where you're going with this. You can make your own screw chart with this uh, pro mat. Again, this is CyberDoc, LLC.com. Alright, it's not a good location for it. And get your pro mat today. And also you can get the um, eye open there for the squid. Okay, so again, use your fingernails, make sure you're grounded, hold yourself to a giant metal sink grounding. Uh, make sure you get wear a metal, uh, metal strap or you have like a giant metal sink. My entire work table is made of uh, stainless steel and it's conductive, so that will ground myself. Okay, use your fingernail. Never, never use the pry tool. Now it just damage your. I cannot stress that more than not. Well, if you do damage the connector, that that's good for me because you end up sending it to me to repair. I can repair this FPC connector all day, but uh, I really don't want you to break it in the first place. Why damage your iPhone with? Pry two. Okay, so all this video out there, I don't know why they use the uh, the pry twos. For those people who do sell them, I understand because they want to promote the product. So fine, they do that, but they're really bad for you unless you have really fat fingers and no fingernail whatsoever. Then you're out of luck. I guess the pry two is the only way for you to go, but then you're risking breaking these stuff. Again, you don't get the tactile sensation the same way you get it from your fingernails when you use a pry two. That's why I never never use I have it. I have the uh plastic pry two right here. But I'll never use it for a PC connector if I can help it. Unless it's a really impossible rich place, then I'll consider using it. Um they just not good for you. Okay, you, you end up using too much force, but that's it. This is how you taking apart an iPhone 6 screen safely. A lot of YouTube video out there, they don't disconnect the battery. I, they, they don't even turn off the phone in the first place. Um, don't do that. Rest of the rest of the stuff they put up on the internet are pretty good, like um, taking out the screws and stuff. But that's not how you, how you properly do it. Also, you want to, before you disassemble the larger board and everything, you want to take the SIM card out if there is one inside the phone at the moment. Okay, um, that's it. This is the short video. Mostly, I'm just showing you how to use the eye opener. We sell two iPhone. We sell two different sizes. Uh, one is for iPhone smaller, and the other one is for iPad. Obviously, has a bigger suction cup. If you compare it, yeah, it's a lot bigger. And when you're not using it, like this is very hard to separate. This is for iPad, much stronger. Um, when when you're not using it, put it in this orientation so the silicone suction cup doesn't get damaged. Yeah. So this is how you use it. Watch the video starting from the beginning, and once it's glued, this is a suction on. It, there's a little tap here. Just peel it open. If you don't get to here, use your fingernail and get open this way. Okay. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna be doing a more detailed video showing you how to take the screen apart. I'll show you how to disconnect these screws and there is a ribbon cable here for the home button right here that's connected through here up here to a connector that goes to the larger board. You want to be careful of that one and that's about it and there's a bunch of screws on the side um, for the screen but 
So yeah, if you wanna you wanna see the full video on how to change the screen if all the little parts included, uh, watch my other video that I'm about to make. But I need to go make a scan for these screens for my website. So for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Visit us at cyberdoglc.com.